This video walkthrough covers how to configure Windows Firewall. By default, website binding on IIS is port 80. In some cases, you want your site to listen on some other port. In this example, we'll create a site that binds to port 2332. To begin, copy your site's folder to the www root folder. In this example, the name of the site's folder is port 2332 site. Close the www root window. Open the Start menu and run the Internet Information Services Manager. On the Internet Information Services Manager screen, in the Connections pane, expand your server. In this example, the server is Web Server. Highlight Sites and click Add Website in the Actions pane to run the Add Website Wizard. On the Add Website Wizard screen, in the Site Name field, type the name of your site. In this example, it is port 2332 site. In the connection directory section, click the browse button beside the physical path field and browse to and choose the folder of your site and click OK to return to the add website screen. Then beneath binding type your port number in the port field. We typed 2332 and click OK. Go to your Start menu and open Internet Explorer. In the IE address bar, enter http colon forward slash forward slash the name of your server colon and your port number and press enter. Your site will open. However, it will not be accessible from the internet because of the Windows Firewall. Return to your Start menu and open Windows Firewall with advanced security. In the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security screen, highlight Inbound Rules. In the Actions pane on the right, click New Rule to run the new Inbound Rule wizard. In the first screen of the wizard, choose Port as the type of rule to create, then click Next. On the Protocol and Ports screen, ensure that TCP and specific local ports are selected. In the Specific Local Ports field, type your port number. In this example, it is 2332, and then click Next. On the Actions screen, ensure that Allow the Connection is selected, then click Next. On the next screen, leave the profile defaults as they are. All profiles are selected, then click Next. On the Name screen, name your new inbound rule. You can enter a description in the description field if you choose to, and then click Finish. You will then see your newly created inbound rule in the Inbound Rules pane. Close the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security screen. Your site is now accessible from the internet through your new port.